Good afternoon. It's four o'clock on Sunday, the 16th of February. Uh, the title of this today is Don't Make Things Harder Than They Need To Be. Jesus Christ. Like, talk about timing. This uh, Steam and Tron situation uh, kind of feels a little bit like that. I'm just going to read you the um, comment at the top by Marcus Aurelius. Uh, meditation 6.26 if someone asks you to write your name would you bark out each letter and if they get angry would you then return the anger wouldn't you rather gently spell out each letter for them so then remember in life that your duties are the sum of individual acts pay attention to each of these as you do your duty just method methodically complete your task and I feel like that's where we are at the minute with with Steam and this acquisition news. I mean, I, I sat through the whole lot yesterday. I think it was like, it felt like it was hours. Like, I don't know how long the Justin, Son and Ned thing was, but um, apart from Ned looking looked like he was locked in the room uh, with all these questions and kind of stunned with like a rabbit in the headlights. Um, I, I really noticed Justin's demeanor as well. The way he goes about business and acquisitions is kind of interesting to me. How he's just got a grand vision of how he's just bolting on things to the transaction records to get those transaction records up uh, and more places to filter things through. It's kind of interesting how he goes about his business. Um, but are we, are we Esthemians making it harder than it needs to be? Like, what are we... What are we fighting for here? Are we fighting for the open source democratization, decentralization of the Steam source code? Are we trying to keep the old flavor and relationship and connections of the Steam it team together? I think there's a lot, there's just a lot of variables, and everybody's Steam it journey is different in different ways, right? Um, for instance, right at the moment, I've got a situation where I'm being downvoted just before the end of like the seven days. Uh, I don't know why they don't just do it straight away. I guess it's just to be a little micro bit more evil. Um, because I used DTube, the uploader, and um, uploaded a URL that wasn't my content many times over the last year or so. Nobody's ever said anything about it. And uh, I went back to the DTube team and I've discussed it with them. And uh, hopefully we're going to make a change to that page to say that the copyright or the content has to be your own. I assumed, that was a mistake on my behalf, to assume that we can just use the URL and share that stuff. That was the whole premise of Avalon. But I didn't realize that, you know, sharing it to the blockchain could end up like having it um, having it flagged. Uh, personally, I feel like it's somebody from their team has a personal vendetta, but that's life. People do that kind of thing. That's just the internet. People love to have some kind of leverage of control over other people um i don't know where we go from here uh but i feel like people are making it harder than it needs to be because uh now i know that we can't use avalon in that way that was one of the premises of avalon was people who don't make content they can still take part they can post a url to something that they like on youtube or vimeo um, and i assumed again my bad that posting it on my blog as long as it had the body content of the youtube video from where it was being posted from that at least they would get the link back and everything else. Um, so kind of a gray area for me and nobody had said anything for a year or so or more. And so I didn't assume it was a problem. So you take the breaks, you know, you, you get onto somebody's little uh, system and you get in, get in sort of in their, in their place and, and that's what happens. So people like to make things hard for you. So you just have to go along with it, you know. Uh, but from my stoic teachings today, I feel like, retracting from the drama it's the reason why i think i've never really got involved with the steam blockchains communities is because it always seemed like a power struggle always seemed like nerds trying to up one over nerd somebody else there's no there's no comfortable like comfort happiness fun like joyful like self there's no respect i feel two way here um, I have not had that from any community group. Maybe the Steam Hunt guys, maybe the proper team at the top. Uh, some of the team, not so much. But you know, like that's like work employees. You know, you you have the same thing. It's just it 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 is what it is. You move on from that, and you find other people who kind of you do gel with, and you do get on with. And maybe Tron's going to be that. You know, maybe Tron Steam or Tron Net or what Tron it or whatever the hell it will be. 
uh, you know, the Steam blockchain will just disappear because somebody has bought more Steam than somebody else, which is kind of what the game has been over the last couple of years is that, you know, you've got different factions who are extracting as much as they can or buying as much Steam as they can just to have like market dominance. And so it's kind of a race to the bottom. Uh, you'll just end up with like 300 people on the network with lots of wealth just talking about how much wealth they've made that day again. Um, not kind of the, the network or place I would like to be, to be honest. So uh, we'll see what happens. I personally think that um, Tron, regardless of what I have opinion-wise about about um, their ethics, their, their background, the fact that top 10 dApps are all gambling apps. I'm not a gambling person, so I... I it's not for me it's nothing there about tron that interests me i don't see any social networking blogging thing i don't know any prolific tron twitter rt i just i don't see them like it's supposed to have all these users but i just i've not seen them anywhere on the internet like not even on not even on youtube i've not seen like big people breaking through and saying tron's this so like i'm not quite sure where they get their numbers from but i don't know we'll see but I, I've got to, every day I try and take something away from this book. And today is like not making things harder than they need to be. I'm going to keep on doing what I do, which is I love making videos. I love having an opinion. I love like trying to share that opinion and having a connection with somebody back and forth. And, um, you know, I think maybe it's time to put a flag in the sand and be like, this is where it ends for the, for the Steam journey. The platform has not died yet. I did say I'll be here to the very end. Uh, and until we hard fork or until we change to another network or another chain, I will keep on posting because uh, this decentralized ledger blockchain place has been my home for the last three or four years. So, yeah, that's me for today. I'm going to now eat a big bowl of potato mash with gravy and it's going to be perfection. I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye. Drifting slow.